Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to talk about um, a comments I have said since having issues and um, I'm going to demonstrate how to see this problem uh, even when you don't have the proper common software. Um, so this is a 2012 Firelander with a Cummins engine and uh, before everything the mileage on it is uh, 1 million miles so it has plenty of miles but anyway the problem then we're having with this Cummins is then this light is on and uh, we're gonna find out in this case I won't be using the um, Cummins software um, Cummins Insight in this case I'm gonna be using my phone and the reason why I'm doing this is because so that way you know that it's not about the tool you use it's about what you know um, and that's the most important part about doing this kind of repairs knowing what you're doing and uh, and that is uh, something that uh, I'm going to demonstrate you so in this case I have the OTR diagnostic right here and just to keep in mind, this is not a promo for OTR Diagnostic. Uh, this is something that I just wanted to do. Uh, but if you want to buy it, you can go ahead and buy it. Use my promo code Francisco. You don't have to if you don't want to. And just I'll give you a demonstration on how it's like to do a diagnostic uh, without your comments, without the proper comments software. So for that, I'm going to be using the phone. And of course, to give you a better understanding, I want to start um, a screen recording uh, because it will, it will be hard because of the reflections. So for that, uh, let's go to the phone so you guys can see. Let's go down and screen record. Okay, just media. It's pretty hard to hold the phone. Okay, let's do it here. Start recording. Okay, so now everything you see is through the phone. So when I go to the OTR diagnostic, and uh, we're gonna wait until it connects, and we're gonna find out the fault codes and um, how to identify the fault using this little device. And you can use any other device. It doesn't matter. You can you, you can use. Uh, a J Pro, or you can use any other generic um, a software that allows you to read a information of the truck. So let's continue waiting. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little longer. But anyway, um, so the owner of the truck is complaining about fuel problems. Um, Supposedly he replaced the fuel pump and after that he started to get in problems. Okay, now we have the uh, The screen completely the home screen of all the other diagnostic. So when I go to full codes and, uh, and As we go to there, we're gonna have right here the fault it says engine fuel leak um, Engine controller we we'll click on it And we have this you're going to give you some troubleshooting at the end, like 00, zero no leak detected, 00, zero 001, leak detected, 10 error, and 11 uh, neoblogable. So we have the description of the fault, but the main important part is to see what's going on here. Engine fuel leakage, one, and say so data valid, but it is about normal operational working range, moderately severe level, and a status signal which indicates in the description is like a status signal which indicates fuel leak, leakage um, in the fuel rail of the engine location can vary uh, can, okay, I'm sorry location can be either before or after the fuel pump yeah it just it gives you a small description but anyway this is not a point it's not about showing you what it, how to uh, what it says and everything the the code is this one, SPN uh, uh, 1239, 
F M I F M F M I 16. So uh, that, that that means that we have a fuel leak somewhere. So how to know where is the fuel leak or how to know what type of fuel leak we have? In this case, it's pretty hard to know what is, where is the fuel leak because um, you cannot just know where the fuel leak is. But uh, we can identify what type of fuel leak we have. So we go out and we go back to the home screen, and uh, we're gonna go to light data here. And when I have all the information here, so when I scroll down until we reach uh, right right here this right here engine fuel injection metering rail pressure and engine fuel rail pressure so this one right here the bottom one the engine fuel uh, rail pressure is the one that is being commanded to the uh, from the computer to the engine and engine fuel injector metering rail pressure is the one that is being measured through the sensor. So what we need to see here is the following. Um, when we have a fault code that is uh, about a leak, um, we have to know how severe the leak is. Based on that, we can say it's a fuel pump or injectors. Most of the time, it happens most of the time when you have a fuel leak, most of the times are injectors but i also mean that is the case in this case the fuel pump was replaced so that means then uh we discard the fuel pump it's a brand new fuel pump which means then the injectors are bad so how to identify the problem this is the following so the ignition see is right here so what we're gonna do is turn the engine off enter the back on without starting the engine and we want to see that the fuel pressure right here went rapidly to almost zero you can see that uh, that means that we have a major leak if the pressure is good if the pressure is good oh, okay okay what, what? okay if the pressure is good you're gonna have um, between 30 to one minute waiting time until, until the pressure gets to zero or at least close near to zero in this case uh, uh we, it is like uh almost zero but it's not because you know the sensor always uh gives some kind of like a tolerance it's not exact uh, exact pressure uh, measurement in the sensor provides to the computer but it is it is very very accurate when it comes to when it works so it's not 100 percent accurate but it's not like it's gonna be 100 still even though the engine is off so uh, uh well in this case we can clearly see that there is not a sensor problem it is not um an engine pressure building problem because if we start the engine as it is let's press the push start the engine and you're gonna see the pressure goes back up rapidly see so that means that the engine is building the pressure the pump is building the pressure but the pressure is not staying in the system and that is what the computer is asking uh, to check uh, because it doesn't pass the test usually computers have a specific test that takes around like one to two minutes after you should you shut the engine off and it keeps on testing the pressure the measurement and once the pressure goes down it validates the measurement but uh, if the pressure goes down rapidly it tells the uh, diagnostic area of the computer then there is a fault and in this case indeed we have a problem and that is um, the fuel um, then it's not staying it's not it's not maintaining the pressure completely anyway uh this, this was my point of doing this video as uh you can tell it is not about um um let me cancel the video recording okay there all right nice um it is not about what tool you're using to know the problem it is about how to use the tool if you know how to use the tool it is going to be easy to identify the problems with any truck 
So it's very important for you if you're using anything to diagnose your truck. Um, it's very important that you know how to use the tools. Even maybe you you are not a mechanic, maybe you are not uh, someone with experience working on computers. But still, it is not about having the experience on working in many different trucks. It is about the experience of, of using the specific tool, um, and um, and that's that's pretty much it. But anyway, uh, this was the point of this video, and as you can see, I mean, like it's pretty easy to see where the problem could be. In this case, I don't, I, I am not hundred percent the uh, about the injector thing is bad. It could be one injector, or it could be six injectors that are bad. But usually, when you have problems and the fuel leaks, um, um, most of the time it is just one injector that one goes bad but it's always recommended to replace them all because anyway, you have to remove all the injectors if uh, for any reason you decide to uh, inspect the injectors, you have to remove all the injectors and then take the injectors to the laboratory to get them inspected and then when, uh, um, when they find out which injector is bad you still have to replace the injector plus the labor still it's gonna be cheaper, way cheaper than replacing the old, old injectors but eventually you will you you may have to replace all the injectors anyway because you know all the injectors are bad so that's the reason why it's always recommended to replace all the injectors um if one injector goes bad just replace the others and that will help you to maintain your truck out of the shop and on the road but of course it's pretty expensive that's around like a six thousand dollar repair and it's not very recommended if you don't have the budget and using aftermarket injectors re uh, rebuild injectors and all that sometimes not the best sometimes better buy them directly from the dealer or anywhere then has good guarantee and uh, that will keep you uh, away from uh, uh, any problems on the road especially with fueling you know like that's something that uh, is very expensive to deal especially when you have to deal with the problem with the truck tow tow in the truck and the time and the uh, truck is down and you still have to manage to pay invoices uh, bills uh, or any utilities that you uh, need to survive your day-by-day -day operations uh, but as i say i mean like a uh, um, uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, this is a pretty simple information. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, like I'm just using my phone. I don't have anything else on hand. I uh, decided to do this video like this because, you know, we always show you how to use the comments uh, software. But most of us doesn't have the ability to use the common software. And, uh, and you can use also OTR diagnostic or you can use diesel decoder from diesel laptops, whatever works for you. It's going to do the same, just the um, variation will be on how to operate the, the, the specific uh, application. But other than that, that will be the way to go. Uh, well, I mean, uh, if you have any questions, uh, just comment below. Uh, I suppose then you may have questions about it. And if you don't, great. That means then you know. Uh, I mean, probably you know more than I. So uh, and, uh, that's cool. That's something that I really like to know when people know more things because I learn to. We all learn from some uh, from others, you know, something new. Um, and uh, if you want to follow me, go to Instagram, uh, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, subscribe to this channel as well, uh, follow my, me, my new channel, uh, it is called uh, Be Mechanic School, it's my new channel, then I want to be explaining things like this with more details, with little explanations, with more uh, uh, emphasis on what it's like to repair these problems. Uh, follow that new channel. I will be doing that kind of videos there. So well subscribe like the video share it and uh, thank you for watching